Let's do the final trial. Uh, spar against Korra, the immortal, and experience the true thrill of combat. Begin playing? Yes. Might as well, while I give my thoughts on it. This was a really good mini-chapter. It was really... It, it really is a nice little thing, and it told a nice... I just keep saying nice, but it really is... It told a nice, self-contained story. Like... It feels like if it was drawn out into its own thing, it could be a really good solo story. Like, hell, you could make an entire game based off of this alone, where a guy's like, I have to do my duty. He's like, he's going around doing things, and he's like, hears about the trials, is like trained to get to the trials, does the trials, and the trials is like what he builds up to, and you just expand it and be pretty cool. Just need to work on the gameplay, which... <laughs> Again, I don't like how he just runs around trying to find a target and the uh, enemies don't really do that much to really show like, aha, we're going to attack. Uh, so yeah, by the end of the game, it's just like dodge, 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 attack, dodge, 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 attack. It's Dark Souls all over again. <laughs> but overall, this as like a mini little combat thingy that you can do outside of the normal game. It's really, it's, it's pretty good combat. And as a uh, an extension of the main story, though? I don't get it, because they didn't place that much emphasis on Gladio, like, I failed. Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which I couldn't. Care to show this failure how it's done? First the Blade Master, and now the Immortal. Fine. The break. <laughs> Not on my watch. Ready? <laughs> Nope. Man, you have a lot of health. Do I have any healing items? I do. Nope. You're too slow. Nope. Again, I really like this combat music. What? Ow. Nope. Aha, uh -huh, yes, use the Genji Blade. Okay, that is awesome. Nope. That was awesome. Well, luckily I have a phoenix down. Ow. Not fair, I was getting up. Try again when you're truly ready. Oh, I will. But yeah, that was, this is an awesome battle. Kind of wish there was an instant retry, though. Kind of annoying. Uh, continue from checkpoint, I guess. Let's go. Is it going to be a long loading screen like last time? It's a long loading screen. Yay! Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which I couldn't. Care to show this failure that was done? Ow. First the Blade Master, and now the Immortal. I can't catch a break. Not on my watch. 
Dang it. Forgetting. I feel like I'm doing worse. There we go. Dang it. Dang it. I don't feel like there's enough time to actually counter these moves. It's just like, well, here's your thing, and by the time you press it, it's already too late. I don't like how he dodges so much, though. Hmm. Nope. I hate that he dodges so much. It renders so much of the counters meaningless. Time for Duel Master. Any last words? I hate that he dodges so much. That's not fair. It's like, alright, it's not fair, but at the same time, it kind of is. It's like most of this battle is just like, hit him, hit him. But he's just like, my weapon goes through him. Come on. Design good boss battles, please. I'd also wish the camera was a bit better. Try again Unblockable things and insta-death things. I will. And again, now we have to do a long loading screen because... Arg. Why have a boss battle that requires sexual skill and we can just have the boss dodge half of your attacks? Hate that uh, follow-up attack. I can't catch a break. Not on my watch. Ready? This one is a battle of counters. Nope. The one too slow is you. A battle of counters, indeed. Hate that follow-up. Very annoying at times. We're just like, how much damage do you do? Like, where's the opening? Then he does a lot of damage out of nowhere. Forcing you to use your only Phoenix down. God damn it. That does not have enough time for you to actually know what's... Fuck you, game. Here's a big attack that does a load of damage that isn't really telegraphed all that much. And because this game has the, we have to be special treatment with the controls and doesn't, like, oh, what should be attack? The leftmost button. It's like, oh, no, the attack is the rightmost button. Because screw you, player. La 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 la. We're special. It's the minute things. It's just like, oh, this is fine. But then when they just, like, try to make a boss fight that's big, oh, epic, and grand, and long... Is like the moment they throw in little things, little things is like that's when it starts to fall apart at the seams. 
It's easier to poke holes into something that is strained, and these itty-bitty things are very strained. Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which I couldn't. Care to show this failure how it's done? Bruce the Blade Master and you have the immortal. That's annoying. I can't catch a break. Not on my watch. Ready? Punch him. Quick use potion. No quarter. Dang it. Too slow. I don't like that they're like the times for the um countering are so wonky to me. Out of nowhere, two thousand damage. What's a good boss battle? Not this. It's a fun boss battle, but it's one that this is so poorly designed. And I'm already have potions. Try this. Any last words? Yeah, there we go. Dang it. Try again. And again, big attacks out of nowhere. Block, he says. Ow. And coming out of an animation. Ow. And then those attacks. It happened again. We're special. This button doesn't do the same thing that most modern game does. I was like, oh, this is the dodge attack. <laughs> Fuck off. Just use normal controls. God damn it. It was like, no. Leftmost is dodge. Rightmost is attack. And then we have Stinkin. Uh, Kingdom Hearts to fill the other thing where it's just like, oh, that one is jump, that one's attack, and then the bot, no, the bottom one's attack, and then the left one is roll. Now all we need is a game where triangle is attack, and we'll have the full stinking quadfecta. I hate that there is no feedback for damage, and there's like no like he's gonna do this attack now, except. A split stinking second. Split stinking second is just like, have, have some leniency. He can dodge like mad. He, he has a stinking thing that is super hard. Death by a thousand paper cuts. God damn. And then he dodges out of those as well. I expected more from one named the Shield of the King. I'm sorry, the game programmers didn't do a good job with you. He can dodge everything. He can do super amounts of damage. He has split second tells. That's the worst part. Have his tells be just good enough. They didn't. His tells are horrid. Any 
last words fall. Nope. I still nope time enough. Again, I hate the I hate the small things. The controls are wrong. The what the dodge and the attack should be flipped. Nope. And because this is just one boss fight that uh ain't the best thing ever. Hate that! That's the one! That's the stinking one! Oh, screw you! He should not be able to do large amounts of small damage. Fuck you! That is so annoying! Out of nowhere, no tells. No adequate tells, if you ask me. He can dodge like mad. And there it is again. I click the stinking thing, but he hits me anyway because... I... I do not like. I do not like. It's just like, the more I play this boss, the more it's just like... Yeah, there is some bad design. This is like, it's my new. I expected more from one named the Shield of the King. Why does he have the stinking death by a thousand paper cuts? And he can fucking dodge. He can do lots of damage. He can do lots. Of, he can do lots of. He can do a large amount of single strike damage. And then he can do large amounts of small strikes, accumulating a large amount of damage. And since there's not that much feedback, he can just like, oh, paper cut, paper cut, paper cut, one large attack, and boom, you're dead. And then because of the stinking split-second reaction times, that all he had to do was add just a bit more to be fair. It's just like, ah, oh, you should just get good. It's a stinking one little thing off of a one little thing. It doesn't need to be that intricate. Unless you're going to have it actually be more, which they're not. Hmm. And even if they do make it more, then they need to tighten up the gameplay anyway. Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which I couldn't. You care to show this failure how it's done? First the Blade Master and now the Immortal. I thank you for catch a break. I hate that out of no death by a thousand frickin' paper cuts. Stop! Split freaking second. Stop! It's so annoying. Oh, you didn't get that one little thing, so you're gonna waste so much. This guy lost to Gilgamesh. How, motherfucker? Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which I couldn't. Care to show this failure how it's done? First the Blade Master, and now the Immortal. It's over. I can't catch a break. Once on. Not on my watch. Ready? I thought he can dodge that. Nope. I expected more from one named the Shield of the King. Why does he have projectiles? He can't even really take pot shots. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah. Dang it, he still has the stinking little lyric. Kind of was a ways Any last words? until the end. Oh boy, he gets his red aura again. That's bullshit. Oh, fuck! Try again when you're truly ready. This is uh, this is starting to go into bad boss territories. Kind of bullshit boss territories. Dang it! That has no stinking tell! I swear! Why does he have red aura? He doesn't need that! Fuck! I'll say that if you counter one of his normal attacks, he can just dodge right out of it. Nope. See, that I feel is like an adequate amount of uh, tell. Enough. I expected more from one named the Shield of the And I just don't like this camera. Dang it. Nope. It feels like that one alternates between having good tells to having no tell at all. Dang it. So fast. Dang it. I keep forgetting that that's the attack button. I hate you. That is so annoying. Try again when you're truly ready. He really doesn't need that stinking aura. He doesn't need it. He does not need that aura. I hate that move! I will. He does way too much damage at times. It's just like, that's so annoying. It's like, here's an unblockable attack that you can only dodge, but the timing is so wonky. On top of everything else. You can't have like, ooh, this subverts your dodging instincts, when the boss is already kind of meh in other areas. Hate that he dodges. So much. He dodges too much. I hate that. He can freaking dodge through my attacks, but I can't dodge through his. He has the perfect stinking timing because he's a stinking computer cheating bastard. He's an SNK boss. Yeah, that's the perfect way of describing him. This is an SNK boss. He can do things you can't do. He has incredibly overpoweredness. He even has the stinking second round uh, of invulnerability superpower. Oh, what's that? You were. You've learned a lot and know how to counter some of my stuff. 
Well, time to go and completely change that and throw it at its head, because why be fair to the player? Dang it! I hate that. He can dodge all this. He can dodge so much. Like, seriously. When it comes to certain things, he really shouldn't be able to dodge everything. It just is very evil. Especially concerning, again, Oh, we're going to subvert your gaming expectations. Even though this is like a practically a minigame. And we're not going to actually refine it any. Like that, that is way too short a notice. Yay! Why can he just do that right out of that? It's like, here's a move where you can like, oh, you can go in and get some extra damage in. Like, oh, now I'm gonna do this attack that has really wonky timing as is. So when you try and go in, you're gonna get hit. Just why does he need the aura so long? I don't like. I hate that. There are certain things that just have no good tell. Oh, you know what? Try this. Yay, now he's suddenly back to dodging the not dodging. Weird. And now we gotta give him the aura again. Why does he need the aura? You can't... Seriously, it's very annoying when it's just like... We have to subvert them. We have to add on to it. When it's just like you didn't do anything anyway. It's like Mario stage one. And then they throw in stage uh, like a, a kingdom eight level after stage one. You have to either build up to it or do it really freaking well. And congratulations, you did neither. And then like just remove the dodges. Remove the dodges and this would be a fine boss fight. But no, he dodges everything. Like, if he didn't dodge everything... If he only dodged some things... Like, if they reduced the amount of dodging he does by, like, 50%, it would be good. I expected more from one named the Shield of the King. Nope, saw that coming. Yep. And here we go. Oh no, oh, good. He wasn't back to his dodge everything state yet. For a moment it felt like that. And now, dodge away. Why does he have insane reach as well? Okay, no, this is a bad boss now. They've like, we gotta make him super overpowered. Why do they have to make him so insane? That's not fair to the player. That is not fair to the player. Like, I understand making, wanting to make a uh, difficult difficult boss, but you have to have some sense of decency. Ah, oh, crap. He has the stinking ore again. Hate. I just hate the aura. The aura is so annoying. The aura is the reason I died, because, like, we're, we can't make a good boss fight, so we're, let's be bullshit. This isn't even a Dark Souls-like boss, because Dark Souls bosses 
have distinct patterns, have distinct, like, phases. This is just, ooh, super random time for super bouncy ba 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 ba. Yeah. Feels like I'm getting it down, but there's just certain little things that are just, like, so annoying with this guy. You know. I'm just gonna quickly down a potion just in case. Hate unblockables. Dang it! Pull down a potion. More from one named the Shield of the King. Dang it! He dodged when I wanted him to parry. Oh, and now he's in this form again. This is. Fuck the aura! The aura isn't fair. He can. Now you can no longer block, and he can do all these crazy things. Let's do insane damage, shall we? And probably fail again because he already wasted a lot of our stuff. Yep, we only have uh, one less thing. Woot! Not bad. I'm sure he'd gladly accept you as his successor. The aura is so bold. Fuck that. It's over. Again, he dodged when I wanted to parry. Iron out the things that you already have trouble with instead of Adding onto them. Why does he have so much aura? This is not fair. <sighs> Death by a thousand paper cuts strikes again. He did it again. Perry. Perry. God damn it. Why is the dodge button so freaking finicky? It's like, god damn. Iron out the gameplay before you're like, all right, we're gonna subvert it. Because that's the only reason this exists. Same thing as like, oh, we have to give him all this aura to make it fair. No, you gotta do it to make it bullshit. He can do all these attacks. He can dodge you. He can do loads of damage. He's thinking Shinakuma from, like, Capcom vs. SNK or something. I don't get it. He keeps dodging. I want him to parry! Have it be a separate button if you're so shit at programming. Why? It's so bullshit. We don't know how to actually program a good boss in this style, so let's just have him dodge a lot. Fuck off. This suffers from the Batman syndrome. Fuck it, I'm not gonna win now. Because it's being bullshit. He's not- he's dodging instead of doing what I want him to do. And it also suffers from the Batman syndrome. Oh, what's that? You started to attack? Well, I guess you can't parry now. Mmm. -hmm. Parry should go over everything, especially in a combat system as simple as this. The complexity comes from their ineptity. 
inept right, uh, incompetence yeah the incompetence of doing it good and again I get confused which one's which which is dodge which is attack because this game feels like it has to be so freaking special like I thought we figured out that attack was X or in this case square ages ago why did it knock me down Fuck off, game. Fuck off. Oh, hey, he's dodging again. What I want to fucking carry. Why? This is a horrible system now. Uh, yay! You suck at making games. This alone just makes me hate you. We did this out of a nice set of Araba, but you can't, you can't take. Oh, and yeah, he has that now. Ah, fuck it. I'm not gonna have another chance to do it. And he's gonna be dodge, 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 dodge. dodge. I'm not gonna win anyway because the game is being mean. Why does he, why can he stun you? Why can he stun you? That is not fair, on top of everything else. It's just like, so many of these things just by themselves would be fine, but they have to put it on top of each other. More from one named the the Why does that come out so fast? Again, when I'm in the middle of an attack. It's just way too precise. <laughs> And then he can just dodge anything, because he is the super cool guy. Now we'll do this and instantly lock him into his super duper power form. Where he can do anything, because core is cool. How about be a better boss? Like, I'm guessing that if you hit that... Fucking hate that you can throw it. But have it be a different button. It locks you down so much. No. Now I'm gonna win this time because the game is still pretty evil. Not bad. I'm sure he'd gladly accept you as his successor. You, the man who asked me to watch over you, and I'm sure you will fix it. And he's gonna be in that fucking form. Holy shit. Thus ends your final trial. You did Claire as proud today. Now go. Walk tall as the shield of the chosen king. God damn. That was a very clunky boss battle. Could have been done kind of better. Jerk. Yeah, because my main problem with that one is that one, that one little parry attack that is basically only there to be parried is a little too fast. So fast that if you're in the middle of an attack, he'll automatically hit you. And then, which suffers from the same thing as Batman, where, oh, you're trying to do anything at all? Well, get hit. Overall, this episode isn't bad, but it's just like... It's kind of, that final one, that final trial kind of feels like they are going for a, ooh, this battle system is so refined, we can subvert things. And it's just like, I have no idea what was with that rising attack, coming down attack, because sometimes it felt like I dodged at the same time as I did as other times I dodged it and still got hit.
core is not a about a, a I don't think they polish that boss battle nearly enough. Like it's either drop the super duper rage art aura or have him not as dodgy. Or at least refine those aspects of him. Refine the controls, refine something where it feels like it's more my fault and less the game's fault. Because there are times where I'm like, oh yeah, it's my fault. Or in hindsight, I can go like, oh yeah, it's my fault. But there, it just feels like it's just a little off. A little off. Less Cuphead, less Dark Souls, and more just clunk. Overall, not bad. Uh, the rest of it is the, the main story aspect of a episode Gladiolus is really good. It has, an, it has a nice flow to it, it has a nice aspect to it, but it just feels so weird compared to the actual story itself and where it takes place and stuff. Mainly because the main story is so split up because of the uh, other aspects of it. Overall, not bad, but could have been done a lot better. Could have been done a lot better. In my opinion, they could have done that final uh, final trial just a little bit better. Just a little bit. Tweak something. Make it e Well, not easier, but just make it less unfair feeling. Because just like sometimes it feels like I literally couldn't go faster. And it's just like, I, don't, I have no idea what I was doing differently when I parried some of those attacks. And then, of course, there's the fact where it's like, I'm going to parry. Oh, lol, I dodged backwards, and that's the most ineffective dodge in this battle, so you're going to get hit anyway. Just why? I'm fairly certain that the left bumper and left trigger are, don't do anything. <laughs> so have some kind of combat there. But overall, not bad. The main story of this episode is really good. And it actually gives a little bit more to the immortal, though I still don't understand the You really are immortal. How is that a jab? I, d I don't know. Overall, not bad. It's just like, eh, it exists. It just kind of feels like... The bad thing is, this feels like... This feels like it would be an extra mission in other games. This feels like it'd be like you're playing the main story, and then uh, you get to a thing, and then in between two chapters is this. And that would happen early-ish in the game, so you really could, like, spread these three episodes out, or maybe more, and have them in between two, uh, two different chapters each time to split up the gameplay, but that's just what it feels like with this one. It feels less of a thing that you should pay for and feels more like a thing that kind of should exist in the main game to me. Just because it doesn't change that much. It changes just enough. In fact, this feels like this would have been the final mission in a series of mini missions. Where you go just like, uh, here's a Gladio mission with different gameplay, kind of akin to that of uh, Spiral the Dragon, where just like, here's a flying mission, here's a skateboarding mission. This feels like it should be a culmination, the final thing of a Gladio series of missions. And then there would be the Prompto series of missions, and then the Ignis series of missions, with the episodes being the final thing. And that's just the feel that I get from it. Not bad, but... I just feel like... There are just certain aspects to it. Hey, <laughs> it's like it lingered. Now we're going to go and look, and see if we can do, like... If the special will do anything, or if the, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna mess around a little bit and see things... See if anything will actually work. Because I don't like the setup they have here. There should just be a DLC episodes menu that you go to and then select the episodes yourself instead of... Play it now! Oh, wrong button. Have to wait for it to load so I can go. No, don't load. 
asshole. Downloadable content. But I have prompto. I have prompto. I swear I do. No. Watch, I will freaking show you. Oh, is it downloading things? Downloading the update. See, 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 freaking see. Well, I guess I'll load my main game and see if anything will pop up. This is starting to annoy me. Yeah, New Game Plus, which one has the most... Uh, that one. Load this game. See if I can... load up... the Assassin's Festival, because I, I actually forget how you actually did the Chocobo Festival. And I swear that the Assassin's Festival should still be going. It said so, I'm fairly certain. Maybe you have to have update 1.18 to play them? Which would be kind of weird, considering that I downloaded them, I installed them. Why wouldn't the update have happened? Because, I mean, seriously, Horizon Zero Dawn updates all the time, and I don't put that in... I haven't had that in my PS4 in a long time. So, why not this one? Hmm? It's weird. Maybe PlayStation is angry that Xbox One also got Final Fantasy XV. So they're kind of like, only exclusives automatically get updated. For games that you are multi-platform, they have to update once you put the disc in. I could see it. Well, I guess not. Return to title. I guess I'll have to wait for the update. See if that'll work anything. Wasn't even going to play the Assassin's Festival or Episode Prompto tonight, but... Still, I don't like it when things are like, meh, weirdness. Meh, weirdness. I'm also gonna have to see what is patch 1.18 or whatever. What that do? Don't know why I have to go through all that every single time we go to the menu. It has so many licenses. Why does it have to fade in each and every time? Come on! It is to be... artsy. And they also, for anyone who says, like, oh, just change your thing to type B. No. Because... I, it's like, the only things I don't like are the face buttons. Everything else, I don't mind. But type A uh, has everything in the other places I really like. It's just the attack button should be where the... Uh, the attack button should be the defend button. And the defend button should be the attack button. And while type B does change the... Uh, attack button to the dodge button it also changes the warp to the attack button and defend goes to L1 and it's just like I kind of miss the olden days of video games where just like this is the way you play or go to hell like there's a certain sense of conviction with that there are times when player choices are important and then there's times when the game just needs to put its foot down and says this is how you play it's like people are like why is there why aren't there stealth options because it's kind of like how a lot of people com are complaining about uh, well not a lot of people but i've heard criticisms towards like wolfenstein the uh wolfenstein 2 new colossus where its stealth is pretty much meaningless because the game didn't have the the balls to just Put its foot down and says, there is no stealth. This is an action action game and stealth. Uh, we couldn't get the stealth to work right. There's no shame in saying this isn't the proper way to play. And considering especially of stealth where it's just like a lot of people are like, I want to do stealth. Stealth is the way to go. 
and then it to be borked, it's just kind of m annoying. So, like, just do the same thing with the controls. Just have... Either have it be completely... Yeah, that's the thing. Either the controls should be completely customizable button to button, or the game should have the... Uh, the uh, what's the word? Not balls. The word is, should be... I don't know. But the game should have the strength of character to go, this is how you play the game. This is how the game was made to be played. Like, yeah, either have every single button customizable or have none of them customizable, in my opinion. There shouldn't be two ways about it. It is either we get to control how we play or the game controls how we play. That that needs to be the thing. Because, like, yeah, I kind of get the... In fact, why not do that? Why not do that? PC gaming has been doing it for years, and honestly, as a non-programmer moron who hasn't made a single game in his life, it just seems to me like it's more complicated to make preset things. But at the same time, maybe not. Maybe the presets are a way to easily implement it, where it's like three options instead of millions of options. Well, not millions, but instead of having each and every little thing be an option, which might be hard to get into the game logic, maybe. I don't know. I just feel like the code would be uh, like this thing happens after this act is commenced and this act is commenced by pressing this button. And then the menu of going in and changing the buttons reassigns uh, each button that has the action be commenced by. But then again, I'm not a programmer, so I don't know. But yeah, I'll have to see what the update has to offer. Deadly damn you. Is this really a 15 gigabyte update? That kind of annoys me. That kind of annoys me. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to go and see what 118 is. I've been on Easy Wings. Episode Gladio is pretty okay. The final trial, though, needed a lot more polish.